I've waited so long. You're finally here. Oh, come on. Oh. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to show you an unboxing of my brand new sublimation printer. This is the Epson SureColor F170. It is brand new to the market. I believe it came out last month. It just hit my supplier last week and they shipped it out to me, it came today. It is Epson's dedicated sublimation printer and it is incredibly affordable. Um, the printer itself cost me $519 Canadian and that came with what you see me pulling out of the box. So one full set of inks, each bottle of ink is 140 milliliters. Um, I also ordered an additional set of inks and additional paper. So the paper I took out of the box and the additional set of inks that were in their own cardboard boxes do not come with the printer. I really like the way that Epson did the ink for this printer. I imagine that it's much like the eco tanks that they have on the market. So instead of cartridges, the printer has a refillable tank. Each bottle of ink comes sealed in shrink wrap. You open it up, shake it 15 times, then take the lid off and put it in the top of the tank. Each color, the lid on the bottle as well as the opening to the tank, has its own sort of design so it acts almost like a key. So you can't put say the blue ink in the yellow tank and etc. It won't work. But once you have the correct ink in the tank, in the right hole I mean, it sort of does a push release, so it's really easy to fill up with no spills and no mess. Um, this is something I really appreciated because my previous printer, I was filling up the cartridges with syringes and sort of transferring the, the ink out of one bottle with a syringe and putting it into the cartridge. There was a lot of spilling. It got all over everything. It was just ridiculous, but this way, you just stick the bottle in there and it fills up itself. I also really liked that once the tank is full, it will stop filling. You don't have to worry about it overfilling itself, which I thought was a really cool feature.
just set up with the chair. It's not really hard. You just have to follow the steps. That's much easier. Can we talk print quality with this? I mean, look at those lines. Look at how crisp and clear they are. It's amazing. All I did was put paper in and hit print, and that was the quality that came out. My previous printer, not so much. So this Epson printer can handle a max width paper of eight and a half but it can go up to some stupid length like 47 inches I don't know who's printing that but okay um, the printer that I'm or sorry the paper that I'm using is eight and a half by 14 I've really been enjoying using it lately as I find that I can fit a lot more designs on it in one go as opposed to the eight and a half by 11 Okay, so now we're gonna fill the ink up again. You can see that I did fill the ink up once, but when the printer goes through its long 15, 16 minute process, doing, I don't know what it is, but it's called charging the ink. I don't know what it's doing then. I assume it's putting ink in the lines and priming it, all of that goodness. It used about a quarter inch worth of ink that I had put in these tanks. So here, before you move on to the next step, you have to fill them back up. Um, the cool thing was the black ink had enough in the bottle to fill the tank completely the first time and then also refill it. I don't think there's anything left in it, maybe a couple of drops. But the other colors, the cyan, magenta, and yellow, I ended up with a solid third left in the bottle so it only used about two-thirds of the bottle to fill them up. I'm not. I'm setting this one up still, honey. Oh. Which I should have done when it was setting up the other part because I didn't think it would take this long to install and set up.
So I was really confused when this first printed out. I always mirror my images in Illustrator and it printed out not mirrored. So there's a setting somewhere by default that automatically mirrors your prints, which means you don't have to before you print them out. So this is the second copy that I'm printing that I printed unmirrored, but then printed mirrored. I was super impressed with the print quality here. The colors overall are slightly darker than what I'm used to, but it's also printing using Epson's color profiles instead of using the Adobe color profiles that I usually print with. So that is something that I'm just gonna have to tweak. But, I was incredibly happy with how vibrant the colors were, how crisp the print was, and just overall saturation. It looks fantastic. I am so happy. I wanted to show you a side-by-side -side comparison of the mug that I just printed versus one that I printed last week. It was with my old printer, Granted, which was having some issues but you can tell the difference in the color variations for one, those leaves look ridiculous. Whereas the other print was having blue ghosting happening as well as the colors were just not as saturated. There wasn't the same range as co of colors. I mean, you can see the leaves there, they don't look anywhere near the same. So overall, I'm really thrilled with this printer. Um, I'm so happy Epson has come out with an affordable sublimation printer for small businesses. And I can't wait to see what it will print once I get the settings tweaked just the way that I want them. So thanks so much for watching. Remember, hit that like button, smash that subscribe, ring the bell, and I hope to see you next time.